Welcome collectors and hobby enthusiasts. Welcome to part three of the HO series building videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at the HO hub display that I have on the layout. Uh, it's one of the single largest buildings that uh, I personally own. So it basically mimics a UPS distribution hub facility and you can actually buy a couple of these kits and they make it so that you can extend it and make it wider if you want more bays for the trucks and the trailers but essentially this is how it comes stock and it's a very nice easy to assemble kit by walters and it looks pretty cool and what's also another interesting factor about it is that you know if you want to not make it a ups facility obviously you don't have to add the decals or the graphics to it you can turn it into let's say for example a schneider truck facility or you know an overnight facility if that's what you're going for Really, it works for whatever you'd like to do. So I'll show you the building basically in a minute, but as I like to do, I'll show you some of the vehicles that I have on it first. So these are Walther Scene Master International Trucks. This is one of the newest additions that was released just within the past couple months in this livery, this paint scheme. This is the... Uh, kind of like the UPS freight that they're doing, which is really kind of nice. The first editions of this truck, which you'll also see, were just brown with either the shield or the bow tie logo. The shield is the newer style UPS logo, which is the logo that you're seeing right now, which was introduced in, uh, I think, April of 2003 is when they rolled that out. But uh, it's an International 4900. Single axle tractor. And then they also released a dual axle tractor with the shield logo. Moving right along. Here is the original release of these. They actually did four different versions of these. They did both the bow tie logo and the shield logo in both configurations, whether it be a tandem axle tractor or a single axle tractor. Uh, again, that's the bow tie logo that they've had up until April of 2003 when they switched to the shield logo. So these are the original release of them. So it's really cool when Walther's does this because if you are modeling on your railroad, a certain era and you really want everything to be era correct or period correct then you can buy whatever truck corresponds to that and these trucks are always really well done and they're very affordable so that's the single axle and then his, this is the dual axle tractor and you'll notice that this one has the um, shield on it I hope that they I hope that they release these with either the the 4300 or even better like the 7600 cab because you know the 4900 is nice but really that's so outdated now that it would be nice if they had something newer. So those are the tractors. Moving on to the trailers. This is an Athern trailer. Aethern also has several uh, UPS products that are very, very nice. They make everything from, obviously, trailers and multiple different configurations. They even make a yard tractor, which is cool, uh, along with some older Ford products. I think they make like a 56 Ford, and they make some Ford C-Series trucks. But here's this trailer. This is also an Aethern trailer. Very high detailed. Mostly made of plastic, but that's alright. You can see the numbers on the front. And on the back you even have some bumper bars. These two trailers come together in one set by Scene Master Walters. I believe these are the 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are the 53 foot trailers. Uh, again, offered in a variety of different configurations, either in length, but also in era. Like some of these will say United Parcel Service. Some of them will have the Shield logo. And obviously, again, in different lengths. So I think there's a 48-foot trailer, 53-foot trailer. Lots of different options. So these two will come in a set, but they have different fleet numbers. You can see that right there. So those are the trailers. Another vehicle offered by uh, Walter Scene Master is the box van. Again, offered in two different configurations with either the shield logo uh, or the older style bow tie logo. That kind of gives you, you know, if you're not familiar, a look at both of them. 1-800-PICK-UPS, www.ups.com. There's that one. And last but certainly not least are the actual UPS carriers or uh, parcel vans. Also by Walther Scene Master. Now, Norscott makes one of these as well. It's actually like twice as long. Um, I actually have it on the UPS store that I have. So once I do a video on that, you'll get to see that one. All right. In the background for just some older trailers off to the side. I mentioned that they offer a variety of different trailers in different eras. Actually, if you look at the top of your screen right now, I did a review on these. I'll post a suggested link. These are the United Parcel Service trailers from the 50s and 60s. These are really old, but they look quite cool. So if you are modeling, obviously, that era on your railroad, these are a must. And they come in a pack of two as well, just like that. As with any of these trailers, you can put them on a flat car as well. And for just customer vehicles or worker vehicles off to the side, I have a Viking New Beetle in green, which is a pretty decent model for the price. I've also done a review on all of these. These are a new release from Woodland Scenics. This is the Modern Era Vehicles. These are very nice. I'll also post a suggested link for this, so look at the top of your screen and check that out if you have not seen these already. But this is the blue sedan. And this is by Malibu. This is a uh, Range Rover. And here we have a Sprinter UPS van. Also by Walters and Scene Master. Now, earlier this year, they released a bunch of these Sprinters in different company liveries, such as Plumbing. Uh, there's a Rescue one, a FedEx one. So look those up if you're interested. I don't own any of those yet, but they they did release them in a bunch of realistic liveries, and they're pretty cool looking. All right, so for the main building, I actually don't have every bells and whistles glued onto this or assembled on this, but it's, it's very cool. It comes with a sign right here, which you can have out front, which is cool. A um, couple different staircases like this which you're supposed to cut these out, these little circles here, which I will do at some point. You have this little staircase leading up to the small door on the side of the warehouse. And then here is the main building itself. Uh, you can obviously choose to have the bay doors down or open, whichever you want to do. 
And on the side here, you have a door. On the back, you also have some other bay bays. And then you have another door here, a side entrance with another staircase. And that's supposed to be like a customer entrance. Also up on here, you have a couple different air conditioning units. You're supposed to have an abundance of these, but I only have a couple up there right now. For such a large warehouse, you're supposed to have a bunch of these. So there you have it, collectors. That is the UPS distribution hub that I have on the way out. Pretty imp uh, impressive and eye-catching building, I would say. Very affordable to build. And uh, definitely if you are modeling any modern era industrial district on your layout you're going to want to have a building like this as always i'm tommy with diecast emporium if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comment section below if you are enjoying these ho scale style videos as always take care be safe i'll see you in the next video